Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome to my channel Parul English Lab. In this session, I'll tell you how you can use the phrase I hope in different sentences. So, let's start our today's video. We use I hope with simple present tense when we want something to happen in the future, not in present but in the future. And we use I hope when we talk about something realistic, something that is likely to happen. In that case, we use I hope. Here, we are not talking about imagination or something that is not possible. We use hope, I hope, when we talk about something that is likely to happen. Now, let's look at some example. I hope I pass my exam. So, after I hope, we have simple present tense. I hope I pass my exam. So, simple present tense is subject plus first form of the verb. So, here I pass my exam. I is the subject, pass first form of the verb. So, I hope I pass my exam. So, here I am hoping something for the future. I want something to happen in the future. I hope she gets the job. So, here again we are talking about the future. I hope she gets the job. I hope you enjoy the party. So the party is tomorrow or maybe after two, three days. And I'm saying, I hope you enjoy the party. So again, after I hope, we have simple present tense. You enjoy the party. So you is the subject, enjoy first form of the verb. I hope you enjoy the party. Again, we are talking about something that will take place in future and that is likely to happen. That is very much possible. We are not talking about the imagination or an impossible thing. I hope you enjoy the party. I hope you clear your interview on Saturday. So on Saturday you have an interview and I hope you clear that. So here we don't need to frame this kind of sentences in future. We just have to use this combination I hope and simple present tense. I hope you clear the interview on Saturday. You might see people using simple future tense after this. That is also correct. So if you say, I hope you will clear your interview on Saturday. So that is also acceptable, but this is the better one. So if you use it like this with simple present tense, so that is much better. I hope you clear your interview on Saturday. So this way we use I hope with simple present tense when we want something to happen in the future. Next combination is I hope with simple past tense. So we use this combination when something has happened recently and we are waiting for the result in future. Then we use I hope with simple past tense. Now let's look at some examples. I hope I passed my exam. So here the situation is that I already have given exams and now I'm waiting for the result and I say I hope I passed my exams. So simple past we all know the rule of simple past tense subject plus second form of the verb. So after I hope I passed the exam. So I is the subject passed the verb is past and second form of this verb is past. So I hope I passed my exam. So I've given the exam and I'm waiting for my result and I hope I passed my exams. So this is very much possible. It's not an imagination. I know that this will happen and I know that I have worked hard for my exams and I will get good results. So this is very much possible. I hope I got the job. So here I have already given the interview and now I'm waiting for the result whether I get it or not. And I know that my interview went really well. So I hope I got the job. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. So here I have given a lesson and after that I hope you enjoyed it. You enjoyed the lesson. I hope you liked the food. So here everyone has had the food and now you hope that they liked it. So this way when something has happened recently and you're waiting for the result, we use this particular combination I hope with simple past tense. 
And the last combination is I hope with present continuous tense. So we use I hope with present continuous tense to talk about the current situation when an action is going on in present. Now we all know present continuous means that an action is going on at this point of time right now. Now let's see how we can use I hope with present continuous tense. I hope you're enjoying the party. So here an action is going on right now. You are in the party. It's not over. You are still in the party. The party is going on and the host asks you, I hope you're having fun. I hope you're enjoying the party. Okay, so this way we use I hope with present continuous tense when an action is going on right now. I hope you're enjoying the session. It's going on. The session is still going on. And I say, I hope you're enjoying the session. I hope you are learning a lot. So again, the session is going on and I hope you are learning a lot. So this way, when an action is going on right now, in that case, you can use I hope with present continuous tense. So please remember we use I hope with simple present, simple past and present continuous. So that's all for today. Please revise all the rules and try to make some more sentences. Please like and subscribe to my channel Parol English Lab and don't forget to press the bell icon for future notification. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day.